The last time I saw you was for the preview event in December. That's when I freaked out. <laughs> <laughs> you were a little rattled because you hadn't seen anything yet. I was yet, genuinely so. disturbed, yeah. I was unprepared for how scary it was. <laughs> and I, actually, the audience was pretty freaked out, too. I, yeah. There were some good screams that day. Well, now that you've seen it, because I know at that, that, at that point, at that, between now yeah. and then, what is your takeaway after shooting the experience of making it and then finally seeing it? What is your takeaway from, from all of it? I just, I mean, I was, I was blown away on so many different levels. I was so impressed with the things I couldn't have possibly seen on set. You know, the, the special effects that they added, obviously, later all the, in the action sequences and all the incredible photography of outer space and the outside of the ship. And, um, you know, it was so cool to see Danny floating out there and all those things I wasn't <laughs> able to see on set. Um, and obviously I think it's really scary <laughs> and ominous and a really fun ride that kind of doesn't let up yeah. from the very beginning. Um, but I was also struck by how kind of like emotionally rich and complex it was and, um, and, and kind of put out a really disturbing, powerful message about <laughs> a future we're headed towards where, um, where um, artificial intelligence might become a, a threat and like serious, like for right. real, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Bill Gates said something about it in an article a couple of years ago about you know trying to protect us from ourselves, and um, he said if if we all don't want to become the family pet, we have to put some serious policies in place before this AI stuff gets out of hand. And, watch and for Alien Bill Covenant. Gates to warn about that, it <laughs> gets your attention. And yeah, I saw that, you know, when you see these two synthetics talking to each other and the idea that one day they might, one might pull another aside and say, let's go talk in private. Yeah. Mm, we might be brighter than these guys. It really, yeah. It's, so it's, so it's, I wasn't prepared for that chilling <laughs> aspect of the film and, and, and it putting forward that idea, yeah. So now Daniels is, she's very, she has a lot of vulnerabilities, especially mm. early on, but she also is a very kind of a take charge character. And I'm curious how you and really developed her uh, in that aspect, you know, was it always like, hey, we're gonna, you know, kind of gradually build her, or was it always a, you know, she's always gonna be a strong character, but we really wanna show these vulnerabilities and, and stuff. Like, what was that like in developing her with Ridley? I think the thing that the script when I first read it made me think about was the question, of what we're all made of, you know, I think most people wonder at one time or another, in a moment of crisis, how would I respond? It's something you kind of can't um, predict. Uh, people who may seem really competent and um, maybe even really, you know, confident in their day-to-day -day life might end up being like a massive coward in a, in a scary situation, whereas someone maybe that's vulnerable or emotional or timid or just mild-mannered might end up being like, you know, have something inside, an internal strength that makes them kind of step up and become a warrior. Or you hear the stories of mothers lifting burning vehicles to save their children, right. you know, it, these average, average people with like average arm muscles, you know, that suddenly <laughs> yeah. kind of step up. So it was important to me that she felt like kind of just a regular, smart, competent member of the crew at the beginning and that, that, that strength, that um, heroin kind of emerged almost out of, of nowhere when when it needed to when it needed to show up and support her. You've now been in the Alien franchise. You've also been in the Fantastic Beasts franchise. Mm -hmm. So what do you like better wielding, a gun or a wand? I'm not a huge fan of guns. So I would probably go with the wand, although it's kind of easier to suspend your disbelief with something that's shooting a blank than <laughs> something that's like meant to move things across the table and you know it really can't. Right. Yeah, awesome. It's a, a toss-up. <laughs> <laughs> You've all sacrificed so much to be here and be a part of this thing we're doing. This crew is made up of couples. It's the first ever large-scale colonization mission. And everyone back on Earth is really grateful for your hard work and your courage. We're making history here. This is wheat. What are the odds of finding human vegetation this far from Earth? Who planted it?
You hear that? What? Nothing. No birds. No animals. Nothing. What happened here? still here. It's over. Go home. What are you expecting? Sam Jackson show up with an eye patch and a saucy little leather number? Go. 